the situation in Japan is fascinating right now because they've, they've basically been struggling with deflation for like 50 years. Like they haven't been able to, to stimulate growth, get any inflation at all. And now it's completely different. Explain what's going on in, in Japan. Yeah, a couple of key inputs. Um, the yen has been in sort of a steep decline given the central bank's um, initiatives to maintain control of, of, of the interest rate yield curve. The yield curve control is the policy, YCC, yield curve control is what they have in place now, mm -hmm. where they don't want their 10-year government paper to have a yield more than 25 basis points. That's a quarter of 1%. Mm -hmm. So they're spending billions of dollars to keep it capped. Right? So they're buying bonds, and that suppresses the yield. Uh, they're really the only country left in the world who, who are maintaining this, this sort of radical, low, zero, negative rate policy. I mean, we now, everyone recognizes it didn't work, it's not working. They didn't get the memo. <laughs> um, what's fascinating is, is that it's costing them, and you can see the cost in, in, in the currency. The, the yen versus the dollar is off 24%. Year to date, I mean, it's it's this catastrophic move lower, massive devaluation relative to the U.S. dollar, mm -hmm. and to the point where they're having to intervene in the currency markets. Not only are they intervening in the bond market, but the consequence of intervening in the bond market is now showing up in the currency market so catastrophically that they have to intervene in the currency market too. What do you get for sixty billion dollars these days? What do you get for sixty billion dollars these days? 35, 40 billion was on Friday of last week where they're intervening to prop up the yen. It reached like 151 to one, the currency exchange rate to the US dollar. Yeah. They intervene, it drops immediately to 145. It took no time at all for it to be right back to 149, 150. Hmm. They're spending money as if they have an infinite amount of it. And this is the stuff that gets really chaotic and catastrophic at some point in the markets. They're spending money, and it's not working. It just says to me that, that their market is already broken, and they're the last ones to acknowledge it. People who are trading against the yen and against Japanese government bonds, they're going to win. This is going to be very similar to like the 1992 period where George Soros broke the pound sterling, and the Bank of England waddled off into the corner like a dog with a tail between its legs, embarrassed that they couldn't maintain the currency peg. That is getting ready to happen in Japan.